Mario 2 is actually a Japanese game called Doki Doki Penny, yeah, we know. But what you didn't know is that Mario 2 is the definitive Mario 2 experience. Mario Bros. Lost Levels can go suck a lemon because that game sucks. Yeah, I know that's not a fresh take either. Lost Levels was released on the Super Mario All-Stars collection on Super Nintendo, but not a lot of people seem to acknowledge that this long lost Mario game was finally released in the West. People just focus on how awesome it was to have four Mario games on your Super Nintendo, probably because it wasn't until the internet and YouTube really started to spread, did people find this information out? But by this point, the original NES version of the Japanese Super Mario Bros. 2 was already released on the Wii Virtual Console, and it was here that people were like, okay guys, this is it. This is the real deal. Fuck that other Mario game. It's not even a real Mario game. I am a true believer. It's not even canon. It's all just a dream. It's not even a fucking real life like those other Mario games. But as more people got familiar with the real Mario 2, did they come to realize that lot Lost Levels is nothing more than what would be DLC for the original Mario Bros. There's not much difference between Super Mario Bros. 1 and Super Mario Bros. Japan 2. Graphics are largely the same, there were a couple physics tweaks, but nothing groundbreaking. Today, this would have just been a downloadable expansion as opposed to a full-blown numbered sequel. Instead, the biggest difference between Mario 1 and the Lost Levels is that the Japanese Mario Bros. 2 was a dick of a game. The difficulty was increased by so much that Nintendo of America appropriately responded with a big no to this game. There are so many moments of cheap deaths and areas you have to memorize what is coming up. A stark contrast from the original Super Mario Bros where it was one of the more relatively easy games given the era it was released. Super Mario Bros 2 The Lost Levels is a game that you play when you have something to prove. It's a game you play when you don't necessarily want to have fun, but instead you want to show the world that gaming is what you mostly do with your life. Believe me, I would know. That was me! My heart was filled with lonely pride when I first beat this game with no continues. It wasn't about fun, it was about gaming honor, and I'm not about that anymore. The last time I tried to go through this one, I gave up. I have too many things I have to do in a day than to spend my time grinding my way to beat this one game. I gotta love the win section, off by a bit and too bad, fuck you! When you get a game over, you are at least given the option to continue, but from the start of that current world, and with only three lives, if you mess up along the way, you might as well give up. Lost levels on Super Nintendo would bump up the number of lives to five, which made a huge difference and probably contributed to me not hating this game as much when I went through it in All Stars. So what does Doki Doki Panic do that makes it worthy of the Mario 2 title? Well, it's actually fun! You look at Mario 1 and then Mario 2 and you're in for a wildly different time. Instead of scrolling left and right, you're scrolling up and down. Instead of Mushroom Kingdom, you're on an acid trip in the middle of the desert. Enemies are different, environments are different, tones are different, Mario 2 is a completely different experience. And it's great! It's one of the most memorable aspects of the game. It's that one! Being different benefited this game so much and there's a reason why Super Smash Bros. included a Doki Doki level, why Peach throws turnips, because this is the canon Super Mario Bros. 2, not this trolling Mario 1.5. In Mario 2, you get four characters, Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad. You got the balance, the jumping, the flying, and the speed. You decide how to get to play. The default character is in frustration. The final villain isn't Bowser, but instead Wart, a giant green toad who hates vegetables so much he decided to build a vegetable machine in his throne room so he can keep an eye on them. This game is all about being weird, which is saying a lot considering that the previous entry had evil walking mushrooms. What we need is a new Super Mario Bros. 2, and I'm not talking about this new Super Mario Bros. 2, no, but instead a fleshed out sequel that borrows all those elements that we don't see anymore. How is it that we have so many goddamn new Super Mario Bros. and so much recycling of old Mario ideas that Nintendo hasn't brought back this formula? The closest we've gotten is Super Mario 3D World. Toad is blue just as he was on the original NES, so they're obviously aware that it's, it exists, they know! But that's as far as the similarities go. What we need is a legit Super Mario Bros. 2 2. We got a remake on Super Nintendo, an enhanced remake on Game Boy Advance, both of which did well, so why not give it another crack? Do it, Nintendo! We need it! You guys are remaking Brilliant Diamond and Super Silver. Come on! I'm Boyle for Heroes of Phantom, until next time.